we're expecting Robocop. And we got this. Yeah. Tell me about performance, Coach. All right, so on the metal side, there's kind of a line that we see in the idea of how the metal game works in performance. Now, below that line would be everything that's actual clinical disorder, so your depression, things that you need to go see an actual psychiatrist for. The true, the true issue, you know, true deeper issues. But above that line, we have all the stuff that's non-clinical. So that's, where's your focus? What are your intentions? What are you doing in training? Are you present in training, or are you just going through the motions? Why are you just going through the motions? What do we need to change to make it so you're actually present and aware of making, taking risks and training when you should, and making right choices? How do we get you to be a better decision maker? How do we get you to have better plans? How do we help you figure out what your goals are and then figure out how to better reach those goals? That's where the mental coaching comes in. And that's what's different between being a mental coach and a therapist. So it's been a minute. In case you've been wondering uh, why I've been MIA or maybe more low than the normal, it's probably because I've been grieving. That last run I did, Lake Merced, whatever, 30 miles, it was a good run and I felt okay. The next day though, let's just say my right foot was not happy and eventually my right plantar tore a little bit. So next weekend I will not be at World's Toughest Mudder, what I've been doing the last three years and I've been dealing with that. Shit happens. It is what it is. I've accepted it and we'll go from there. If you're stuck in a rut with your exercise plan, exercise program, what's first, one little trick? I think the first thing I do is I take a look at what, what really is my goal. Am I trying to increase my energy levels? Am I trying to drop weight? Am I just trying to be more active? I figure out what is that one thing I'm really trying to accomplish right now and I'd focus on that. And I try to adjust my activities to help maximize my reach into that goal. One more thing. Right now, World's Toughest Mudder is like at the bottom of my priority list. It's honestly, I have not been training for it. I, my plan was <laughs> run five miles, run 25, run 45, run 60. Yeah, I have not been training appropriately for it. There's just too much going on. <laughs> and the full story will be revealed when the time is right. Until then, you can look for clues. Do you hear that? Because I can. I'm editing. Like I always am. And a truck comes into my court. And it's making lots and lots and lots of noise that I really don't like. So... It's also destructive, and I can't think when it's really, really that noisy. And I don't like it, so they need to stop because I don't like it. Just wanted to share that with you. So, check it out. I've seen the new Steve Jobs movie two, maybe three times. For some reason, it's not getting a lot of love from America. You know, the book was like this big, and they were able to package it in a very rewarding, repeatable, amazing movie. 
something about I don't know maybe it was done too amazing before with uh, Ashton Kutcher but I would suggest anybody who's trying to build a product build a company start a revolution do something meaningful if that is you it behooves you to go watch this movie maybe the only downside is they should have had Christian Bale if he can do Batman he can do Steve Jobs go watch it tell me about the look the charm every champion has the same look in their eye like MJ had the look uh, Ali when he was about to fight had the look uh, Kobe, Kobe most definitely has the look. Ronda Rousey when she's walking to the ring, all champions have that one like look in their eye. You know what I'm saying? John Jones has it before he throws the elbow, like a lion about to pounce on a rabbit or a gazelle. It's like a real bloodthirsty kind of look in their eye. All champions have it, and that's what I'm saying. That's that's one of the reasons why I fuck with John Jones. You know what I mean? Like and you know, Conor McGregor. And Conor McGregor. Conor, he may talk all that shit, but he talks all that shit to get paid all his money. And then when he gets in the ring, he has that look. He has that look. He has that bloodthirsty, like, not only do I want to win this match, but I want to kill you look in his eye. And you need that if you want to be a champion. Like a real legend, like a real legend, you need that. And they have all had it. I've never seen a legend who didn't have that look in her. Even tennis, like Serena Williams or whatever, like, she has that look in her eye. Like, even though she's hitting a ball across the net, like, I will kill you. Like, I will destroy you. And then when it's all over, she smiles and goes to the camera. But when she's in that zone, it's champion status. Champions have it. If you don't have that look, you're not a champion. I don't, I don't care who you are. You don't have it. It's a good thing I have that look. A button-up shirt. He's always... I had, I had like, a, a button-up, a white and black plaid button-up shirt. That was, like, I had tailored, like, fitted, okay. right? And like some blue jeans. What is she wearing? She's wearing this uh, like top, like lace.